so now i solder all the motors escs to this flight controller i mean this power distribution board okay so you can see plus and minus plus and minus like that you can connect to any you know a positive and negative no problem only thing is only thing is these motor connections while connecting to flight controller board you must connect in order like same way this way okay so this way you need to connect that means this motor related esc you need to connect to two this motor related esc you need to connect to four this motor uh, related esc you need to connect to three this motor uh, related to related esc you need to connect to one like that okay so irrespective of that you can connect to any pad here you can okay so that one thing i did after that you can see here um yeah let me show you yes. you can see i have connected you can see this is 5 volts this 5 volt supply i have connected to this transmitter as well as as well as to power the flight controller this one is for this one is see so sorry for my bad soldering skills okay positive and negative 5 volts okay so the 5 volts is power su supplying power to this transmitter okay and also this cable is for supplying power to flight controller so this 5 volt is used for this FPV transmitter and this uh, transmitter will supply power for this camera okay so like this okay. so i soldered all the ESCs this 5 volts supply is for this FPV transmitter so the transmitter supply power for camera and this one cable is for flight controller board power okay so because these ESCs does not come with, come with BEC so we need to power, supply power for that okay so now I will mount this power supply board here then I will place some standoffs so I'm using this standoff so I'm using the standoff so So I will place the stand off here and I will screw from bottom ok so that will hold this flight controller board in one place ok and uh, see I will be placing like this then I will screw below above this I will be placing the flight controller board so four standards on top flight controller board will come okay so I will do that then I'll be back so I mounted this uh, power distribution on power distribution board on top I place the flight controller see flight controller I just rotated 90 degrees like this so that I can get access to use this USB okay so this 90 degrees I rotated that we need to configure in uh, this flight controller configuration so that the yeah axis we need to show it like 90 degrees view so that we can see the proper orientation of the quadcopter okay like this so that I can get access of this uh, USB cable okay I think so next uh, I will connect this fly sky receiver so I'm using this PPM okay so this I have connected this side I connected Then other side of this receiver, I will connect here. Ok, 
okay and uh, you can see the so this wire is supplying power to flight controller board then rest of these wires are coming from here order like this is the motor number two okay it's connected here motor number two like that based on our layout motors are connected to four three one like that okay so like this now receiver also connected uh, video transmitter also connected everything is connected just now we need to uh, close this frame by adding the top plate okay then we can uh, tidy up this one by adding some zip ties and we can make it proper okay i will do that then i'll be back so this is ready now this one is for the vibration and dampener vibration dampener for uh, action camera so we can place the action camera here so then it is ready so now in the next video we'll see how to configure uh, this quad and uploading the firmware to this board okay we'll see in the next video